Hi everyone, today's video is about lantana and I'm going to show you how I propagate it from cuttings. So this amazing plant grows in zones 8 to 11. I say it's amazing because it's very easy to grow, needs little maintenance, blooms most of the year, attracts bees and butterflies and is also a very good mosquito repellent. So what more could you want from a plant? Here in Florida, zones 9 to 11, this plant is pretty much a perennial. According to my local extension office, it is also classed as invasive. I've mine planted in the ground for over a year and have had no problems at all. My backyard is south facing and it receives full sun most of the day. Anyway, let's get on with it. It is mid-April here in central Florida. It's 8.30 in the morning, it's 70 degrees on a cloudy day. But before I start, I'm just going to disinfect my shears. I'm doing this with uh, Lysol spray and wiping them down so I don't spread any bacteria. I've got my bucket with rainwater ready to throw my cuttings into until I'm ready to pot. What I'm doing here is I'm looking for a green non-woody stem around about 7-8 inches long. Uh, I'm just randomly selecting off the plant. I'm taking about seven cuttings. I know the plant looks ugly after taking the cuttings, but it bounces back quick. So for my potting mix, this is what I'm using. I have vermiculite, perlite and sphagnum moss. I'm using coffee filters in the bottom of the half gallon pots. My mix is three quarters of the gallon pot will be sphagnum moss. A third of the coffee cup of, is vermiculite and two handfuls of perlite and I'm just going to mix it up well. I'm filling the pot with the mix to around an inch from the top and then I'm just going to deep water it in with rainwater to the top of the pot and while that drains away I'm going to do the other two pots. Okay so this is my cutting what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it just there off of the node. I could take it down there. I'm going to do it there. So it's about half inch. Put it at an angle. See all these bottom leaves? I'm going to pick them off. So all I'm going to do, all I'm going to do is leave maybe three leaves at the top. So that's what I've got now. See how I've cut it below the node. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go two nodes up and just scrape that cambium there. And what I'm doing is I'm, I'm making a wound. And what will happen is when that goes in the ground there we go the roots will come out from there there you go so I've got two nodes up I'm just using uh, garden save rooting hormone And I dip this all the way in. Just give it a little tap off. Just dip my little pinky in there. And squeeze it down. And that's all I'm going to do. So I'm going to leave it in this shaded area now for probably the next two weeks. Um, I'm just going to come out and check on it every day, make sure that the soil is moist. And um, after two weeks, I'll gradually push it out further into the sun. But that's how I propagate Lantana. I hope this has helped you. Please subscribe and give me a thumbs up. And I'll see you on the next one. Yeah, yeah.